So you're the only player on the roster from Mississippi. <laughs> so what is it like to represent your home state? Oh my gosh, um, it has brought me to tears so much just thinking about it. I, I really am just like so grateful to be in this position. When I first started volleyball and I came to the games of the pavilion, and I'd bring the posters home, looking up to so many of the girls, I put them on my walls and I was like, that's what I want to be and I made that my goal. I didn't always think that I was going to achieve it, but that was my goal for so long and so whenever it was achieved, it was just such an exciting feeling for me and I have just been truly blessed that I have been here for going on four years now. We're looking back onto your 23 season in the fall. You had a bit of a production increase. 222 kills on the season. You were the only Rebel to have 20 kills in a contest on the year. So what do you think about the season that you had last year? I think it was not only just an increase in my production, but um, an increase in my confidence on the court. Prior to this last season, I had injuries. I wasn't able to play as much as I would have hoped to. Um, so I really just didn't have the confidence or like belief that I was able to compete at that high level or compete with some of the amazing players that are in the SEC. Being healthy this uh, last season was so big for me to be like, okay, like I can actually compete with these girls. And games like that, whenever I had career high, I was like, okay, like I can actually do this. And so that like continued to build my confidence, of course. So there was an LSU match in November and you essentially took over the game. Do you remember that feeling? and what that was like. And honestly, if I like had a word to describe it, I would probably say like electric. Sure, there's Dice. Dice goes straight down and scores for Ole Miss. Dice is just scoring all sorts of ways, slicing and dicing. There was a points and like hits or kills that I had that I was like, wow, that was like, I didn't even think I could do that, <laughs> you know? And I looked back at my coaches and, and they would look at me and be like, yeah, we believed you could do that all this time. You kind of alluded to this, but production's important, but what else do you try to bring to the team, aside from just kills and hits and whatever else? That is one thing I've learned so much just in this past year, um, just bringing joy to the core. I think sometimes we can just we can lose our joy out there in, the, in moments, and I think that's what I always wanna bring out there. I've seen on Instagram that you really like to cook. <laughs> And you have a cooking account on Instagram. What is it? Eats with Jew? Good Eats with Jew. Good Eats with Jew. So where did that start? What's the story behind it? I have loved cooking for such a long time now. I think it was just me really getting interested in like the nutrition aspect of like getting stronger for volleyball. And then I just found I just loved cooking, which led me to just I love like cooking for other people. Uh, when I was in high school, my brother, he would wake up in the morning, I was like, Julie, can you cook me breakfast? Can you cook me lunch? Can you cook me dinner? And when I think of like serving other people, I think cooking is such like a good outlet for that. And I just love being creative. So I just, I just love enjoying it. Obviously we know that y'all have some transfers that came in, y'all have some freshmen. So what have y'all done to become more cohesive and sort of integrate these new members on the team? So we started these meetings called Volley Talks. We'll just gather at someone's house. We will either do like a fun craft or we'll just do little tests like that share more about our personality. This team that we have, we literally love each other so much. I know I love them so much. They bring me so much joy whenever I'm around them. Um, and so outside of volleyball, we have such great relationships. So when we're on the court, it's just we're having fun together, which has been so awesome.